guys welcome back it's been a little while since I've seen you I'm gonna share with you a haul today so I've got some stuff from Mecca Maxima and I got some stuff from Maya and DJ's I wanted to talk about my face first because I tried to recreate the Kylie Jenner latest look that she's posted or her makeup artist posted on Instagram I'll try and insert a little picture of it but I've gone a lot more lighter you know I don't have the lashes the false lashes and I switched up the blush I'm wearing a pink blush from Bobbi Brown instead of she was wearing an Estee Lauder I can't remember the name of it but it's the the more nude um, peachy beige blush basically I've stayed with um, the similar color scheme on the eyes um, and the lips I love the lip it's typical Kylie Jenner but I like that it's less brown than what she usually wears I'm not a brown lipstick lover I'll show you what I'm wearing on my lips um, later so um, let me know if you do like it and I can recreate it if you want so I'm gonna get on with the haul I'm just gonna dive in um, I got a new fragrance I've been obsessing over fragrance posts on Instagram lately I just I wanted a new fragrance wasn't sure I finally decided on one it's from Erin Lauder so I ended up with the water lily Sun I liked this one the best I also like the rose the other ones I did not like at all I was quite surprised at how rich and sickly they made me feel but um, this one was nice because it's a really fresh green invigorating earthy scent um, so this is what the bottle looks like it is just beautiful it lasts a long time but the dry down is really soft but it's still there you can smell it but it's not rich all out throughout the day it's kind of along the same lines as you know diptyque philosophos um, it's uh, Chanel Uvert things like that it's just really nice so I recommend trying this and then I popped into Mecca Maxima and um, I got a shimmer brick I haven't liked shimmer bricks in a long time because I feel like they're a little bit funny in color so pink oyster looks really pretty in the pan but when it's on my cheek it kind of is a little bit ashy and gray also the bronze it's not really a bronzy color on me it kind of again turns out to be a, a muddy light gray it's really weird so the one that I really liked on and this is new out and it's limited edition it's the sunset pink and it's really pretty because on me I've got it on now uh, it comes up enough color to wear on its own as a blush and a highlight but it also is good underneath a blush so this one's a really pretty champagne pinky kind of apricot when swatched all together it's so pretty so I'm glad I could finally find one that comes up quite good on me so you can see it's a little bit of a goldy apricot pink and then the blush that I'm I'm wearing is a new one and it's from Bobbi Brown this one stood out to me at the counter I don't have a color quite like this it's the nude pink number 29 I liked it because it's got a little bit more mauve in it so it's a pale pink with more mauve in it rather than uh, it's not as warm um, as some of the other pale pink blushes that I have and I'm wearing this today it doesn't come off purpley like this on the cheeks you can see it just comes off as a really pretty pink color so really love this it's a matte formula and it just goes pretty with you know with this kind of pinky peachy purple look on my eyes okay so I got a Bobbi Brown lip liner I've been wanting to try their new liners um, I really wanted to get pale mauve but they were out of stock so um, I ended up with pink mauve and it's not the color that I wanted but I love it and that's what I'm wearing now I'm wearing this all over my lip with the lipstick just in the center and I'll show you that later this is um, really nice pencil actually um, it's just a typical Kylie Jenner um, 
it's very similar to um, the Gerard Serenity, um, all those kind of beautiful brownie pink colors. So I love this. It lasts a long time. Let me know of other lip pencils from Bobbi Brown if you've tried them and um, you could recommend any other colors. But um, Pale Mauve is definitely one that I really like to get and it's more on the lines of a cocoa kind of mauvey pink color. Okay, so the lipstick that I'm wearing with it is this one and this is the Velvet Rope Star System. This is a really nice lipstick. It's really quite hefty. Um, it's really pretty actually. And the texture and the color is just stunning. So it's a nude leaning more it could lean more pink or peach depending on what lip liner you wear with it so this is what I have on in the center um, so it's a matte and it's, it's nice because it dries down it doesn't stay slippy or it's not too dry looking I'll try and swatch it for you see if we can get a good oh it's just stunning it's that's coming up very well too. You can see together they just pull nicely and you could wear like a light pink um, lip liner like something like Chanel Pretty Pink and it would just make a little bit more pink um, or you could wear like a peach lip liner and it would pull more peach. It's just such a versatile color because it's so um, it's quite it's warm but it's light I've got a couple more good lipsticks to show you. I've got a Bobbi Brown Creamy Lip Color, and this one is in Bellini Pink. Somebody mentioned this to me and said that, asked if I tried it and if I, and if not, that um, I should try it because it's really nice, and I fell in love with it. So um, it's the Creamy Lip Color, and it is so so pretty and the texture of this is it's very gel like um, it's very creamy and there's quite a lot of color payoff so this one looks really good with I tried this on with the pale mauve liner lip liner from Bobbi Brown and that looks really 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 good so that is a Bellini pink. I think this one's been around for a while. And then the other lip color that I got was from the YSL counter. It was the last one. I think it's limited edition, unfortunately. Um, it's one of my favorite formulas, the mattes. And this is number 210 nude acoustic. And this color is just stunning. Beautiful. And I'll swatch it next to the other two. It's a little bit more brown. Not brown. Um, it's a bit deeper. Okay, I've got one more thing. I wanted the new YSL Fossil Mascara, the new formula. I think it's just because it's waterproof. But I'm not sure if I just asked her for it. Um, and she picked out this, but I'm not sure if this is the new formula. I think the new formula has the blue, but who knows? So this is the Mascara Volume Effect False Seal. It's a smudge proof. I'm not sure if that's the new one. I don't know, but I'm wearing it today and it's awesome. I had the Faux Seal maybe eight years ago and I loved it. Um... It seems a little different though, so it could have changed over the years, or this could be the new one. Um, I got the shade black, but it is so nice. You can see, I hope you can see. Um, it's such a nice mascara. Oh, I love it because it's not a clumping mascara, which I hate. Um, it just gives really pretty fluttery lashes, as you can see. Um, and it's this type of mascara that really makes the eyes stand out. I don't know. 
um, but it's really really nice and it's not it is it doesn't smudge it is definitely smudge proof um, I've had no problems with it I have had problems with my eyes lately watering so something's been setting me off but it's only when I put makeup on it's not you know allergies or anything it's it's makeup so I think my eyes are just a little bit desensitized at the moment and this does not smudge or run so really 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 like it and I'll show you the brush love the formula um, I'm always a little bit hesitant to wear my mascara when it's brand new because I don't like a really wet formula I like to wait till it dries out but I feel like this is a perfect in between it's not too dry and it's not too wet so straight off the bat for me it's just quite a perfect in between and so it's a bristle yeah it's a bristle brush just a nice um, plain basic brush I really like it I went to the MAC counter to get some Fix Plus. I know there's a new lot of Fix Plus fragrances coming out, or scents, um, but I couldn't wait, so um, I've only got a little bit left of my old one here, and I've, I've been using it quite a lot. So this one I tried it last night, and the spray seems a little bit nicer than this one, so maybe they, I don't know, it's the same packaging. And I just use that when I've applied all my powders um, like my base powders and then um, I'll spray that and then I'll go ahead and do my eyes and my lips and my brows and all that I've got two body products that I I have to show you because I am just so in love I've just given up on using those you know those exfoliating gloves that you use in the shower oh, they annoy me I feel like because when you try to hang them in the shower if you haven't got the, cat, the shower caddy that I have doesn't have hooks, so they're just annoying to have. So I decided to opt for a different type of exfoliating system. I got the um, Clinique Sparkle Skin, and this stuff is so good. It's got peppermint in it, so it's like invigorating, um, and it's got the most beautiful, fine exfoliating beads in it, and then it's a balmy thick texture but it spreads quite nicely um, I'll just show it to you it's just refreshing you see that it's just quite thick it's really really nice so oh, I love this stuff it's been around for ages um, and I've had samples of it but um, I've decided to go ahead and finally use this up I just love it and what I've been doing I've just been treating myself I've been using this maybe twice a week and then I'll put on my Chanel um, the Coco Mademoiselle body fragrance cream just on my arms and then I'll jump into bed and then like my sheets just smell so good so that's awesome it leaves the skin really soft too you don't feel like your skin's tight and dry after it and then the last body product I have which is such a treat but unfortunately it's limited edition you can still get it in packs uh, it's the lush rose jam shower gel oh, it is so yummy it's rose with um, it's not like a sickly sweet like rockstar I don't like rockstar that makes me feel ill but this is just a little bit more subtle um, and the sweetness is a, like a nice jam scent rather than a lollipop scent um, oh, it's so nice and it lingers it lingers in the bathroom and then it lingers on your body for quite a while after your shower so awesome stuff um, Lush actually sent me this I thought I should probably mention that they sent me this to try so um, just love it so I hope you guys enjoyed that let me know if there's anything that you want to see on or if you want me to try and recreate this look um, I would be happy to do that and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will speak to you very soon take care